people do not become enslaved overnight. It's a relatively slow process. The bottom line, the first step to enslavement is a choice. A choice not to trust God, but to trust man. To be obedient to man and not to God. That is a surefire way to become a slave. Um, when this whole thing first began, people went along with it for convenience sake or because they didn't know enough or because they were ignorant, they didn't do any research, and they started wearing those and getting all this stuff. It was the first steps of compliance. They didn't question. They followed. They obeyed. But they didn't obey the one above, they obeyed man's dictates, and they increased over time. <clears throat> and as the whole society, a whole world was shut down, locked down, and people began to lose their jobs, they still went along with it as the churches were shut, as the economy was damaged I irreversibly. And businesses, people lost their businesses and people lost their homes. They're still losing their homes and their businesses. But they try to cover up, they try to play down the numbers. They were becoming more and more acquiescent. They were bowing to the system. Now, here's the thing, though. At first, it seems easy. You know, it seems like, well, it's easier to go along to go with the flow, not to rock the boat, not to upset anyone. And that was their justification. That's how they justified going along. Even though, certainly in the beginning, I'm not so sure now it's the case. Even so, in the very beginning, a lot of people had queries about all this stuff. Now I think they've just given into it to the point where they believe the delusion. They believe in it. Or why else would you have hundreds of people lining up at testing stations around the country, you know, after all this time, like in Milwaukee, Boston, New York, you name it, because they, they've, they bought into the delusion and now they believe it, believe in it. That's what it says in scripture. He will send them a great delusion and it could be several, but what is happening is because they acquiesced, because the majority, 95% acquiesced, they're becoming enslaved. We're becoming enslaved with them because we live in the society, okay? Now we, we're standing apart, we're separated, but at the same time, their actions are affecting us and making life very, very difficult. Because those that are in the society still need medical treatment, still need to buy groceries, still need to hold on to jobs, still need to go to school and all the rest of it. And it's all corrupted. So they've made life miserable for all of us by choosing to be slaves. And they don't even realize that they've, that's what they've done. Um, <clears throat> because it's easy. It's easier to go along in the beginning. No matter how many doubts you have or how many questions, oh, we'll just go along for now, and eventually it will get back to normal. They believe that myth mythology. Are you kidding me? Once you give a little power to tyrants, they can't get enough of it. They're hungry for it. I mean, I remember the little bit of dabbling I did in politics many, many years ago. On a very small level, it's like you get this this sense of importance, self-importance, and power, you know, goes right to your head. And we're all human, we're fallen, we're broken. So you think these people are just eating it up and feeding on it and wanting more and more, even though in the whole scheme of things, they're just little pawns too. They're Satan's little pawns. They're nothing to him. And that's what they, they don't see. See the levels of enslavement? They're, they're his slaves. And they think all these other people are their slaves. But ultimately, 
the great enslaver is Satan. And all these people that are going along with all this, that this, and this, and now this, they have chains on. They're wearing chains, invisible chains now. They will become very visible. And you know when they'll become most visible? Not even in this world. In eternity. In eternity where they can't ever get out of the chains again.